my channel how you are doing today i know you'll be wondering uh -uh, what is their food is she about to do another mukbang or you know asmr but <laughs> no i'm not doing mukbang today i'm here to gist you guys you know i've not really gisted you guys before so we're gonna gist <laughs> so i just brought the food you know to keep myself busy as i talk but don't focus on the food focus on the gist okay so um please do not forget to like subscribe to my channel as usual this is um a for real yeah and if you want to learn how to make it i'm just going to put the link up because i've made it on my channel as well so you can learn <laughs> good oh, very good actually a little bit spicy well But I like it. Okay. So this video is, is just basically about how I almost did not enter the UK. Yeah. So listen, hopefully <laughs> you will learn from my mistake and not repeat the same thing as well. Yeah, because this video is also going to be helpful. So you will learn from my mistake, the mistakes I made that i almost did not enter the uk i already had a visa so it's, this one is not embassy it's like entering like traveling to the uk after my visa so listen so you don't repeat the same mistake i made you know okay now so initially yeah i was meant to travel for i traveled um during the pandemic so that was also another key factor so um my initial plan was to travel on february 24th of february and i was to go to scotland because my sister is in scotland you know i didn't travel alone actually so we booked our flights already and um i booked my flight for 24th right but then around 16th of february because i used um klm around 16th of february they i received an email my flight has been cancelled no specific reason i was like what well i was like okay oh no problem no problem i moved the ticket because they cancelled the flight and i couldn't even find any flight anymore to scotland because my initial plan was to stop in glasgow because um, that's where my sister lives i booked my flight to manchester on and for that 24 there was no date anymore so i now had to make it first of march and i already cancelled a lot of appointments before then so i was sad that if i had known that i was going to travel first of march i mean i wouldn't have cancelled a lot of my appointments so i was kind of sad i was like you know what's you know and at, at at some point i even started feeling like you know this trip are you sure it's going to work and i now had a dream on top of it though hmm. i'm telling you guys like i now dreamt that i dreamt that i travel with my pozvika for people that are not in ukraine a pozvika is like a temporal resident permit that allows you to stay in ukraine so So in that dream, I traveled without my Pozvika and I didn't have, and I traveled without money, like, what I mean money, not even a single pound or even grivna on me in the dream. So I was thinking, is this a sign that something is going to happen on the journey? So, you know, because of the whole thing, the cancellation of the flight, the dream, I had to pray. I prayed, I even fasted for it. So your personal location phone, you're going to feel where you're going to stay and, all, and where you're landing, the, the airport you're using, blah, blah, blah. And also, for the UK, you also have to um, have a negative COVID test before traveling. Then, you have to do two COVID tests in the UK. And another thing that now saved me as well was um, for Scotland precisely, if you stop directly in Scotland, you you won't stay. Uh, like normally, if you stop in England, you can self isolate here. Yeah. 
but if you stop in scotland you can't self isolate you have to book the government um the government des designated uh, um hotels or apartments that's where you're going to um stay for your quarantine and i mean it's 10 days and of course you'll pay for it and the price is like maybe two thousand something pounds so first of all i was like ah thank god though that <laughs> that first flight got cancelled because if i had stopped in glasgow it meant i would have paid the two thousand something pounds i was like okay maybe things are working out for my good you know because i had to change my flight to manchester and it's not a direct flight um the airline was air france yeah so it means i would stop in france before um arriving at manchester my flight to manchester was on monday morning so i did my covid test on saturday and i left vinita for i stay in vinita i left vinita for kiev on sunday because the negative covid test has to be like 48 hours before your flight so that was why I had to do it on Saturday. My flight was 6.50 precisely. So I was at the airport around 4 o'clock. And another thing, yes, I just remembered. For KLM and Air France, you can check in online. So the night before, we checked in. But then we checked in from, um, you know, from Ukraine to France. Um, You know, you have to put your visa code and everything. So that one worked. Then from France to... Manchester, I put my visa code, it said invalid. I put my political number, it said invalid. I put my passport number, it said invalid. I was like, that was when I kind of started getting scared. I was like, okay, when I get to the airport, we'll figure it out. That was just what I said. And then on Monday, when I came to the airport, we went to check in. <laughs> my heart was just like i was not actually like i was not although i prayed already i even fasted i prayed but at the same time i just i don't know i was just having this feeling that something was not right something was going to happen you know that kind of a thing yeah then we reached the airport to check in so we got our passport the flight details and everything the attendants they were ladies you know, checking in doesn't take time. No, no. They were wasting time. They were just holding our passports for a long time. But then I was like, that code that did not enter, that Air France, that France to Manchester that couldn't work online, I think there's a problem. UK is no longer in the European Union. So that was the problem. Because they're no longer in the European Union, you can't fly through any Schengen country or any European Union country anymore, except you have the visa. I had just um, a valid UK visa at that point, so the woman, they even took a picture of our passport and the visa. I didn't know what they needed that for. So they now told us, oh, I'm sorry, there's nothing they can do. And mind you, that was like 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, that was very early. And they told us there's nothing they can do. Like, we have to go and look for a direct flight to, um, to the UK or wait till tomorrow. Like, they started making suggestions and all kind of getting frustrated that COVID is really a waste because that day would have even made it um 48 hours so waiting till tomorrow means we would have done another COVID test from from ukraine before even traveling so thinking about that and then i didn't know better then so and also i was thinking also for this thing the COVID test i also paid in the uk the 210 pounds i was like ah so what if I don't come on the day two and I'm not there? Does it mean that I'll have to pay again? Like, you know, I was frustrated. I was very, very frustrated that morning. I didn't know what to do. And so we now started calling KLM, at least so they can refund the money. So, because at that point, we didn't know what to do, you know. We started texting them. Okay, first of all, we texted Air France because the, f the flight was Air France. So Air France replied that oh it's not there because you know the very first flight i booked was actually klm so it was klm that gave us um air france like they kind of work together so everyone said they can't do anything that is klm but that morning we didn't even know how to get through to klm so um we went to the we went to the counter like the flight counter if you want to buy if you want to buy um flight tickets we went there we now asked them okay is there any available flight 
to the UK that day. They told us, yeah, the amount was like about 400 and something dollars. Then we checked online. Online was like 300 and something at that point. And then the problem was that at that point, I didn't have money in my card. Because I work with Agrico Bank. People that use Agrico will understand what I'm talking about. Like the card account is different from your current account. So you always have to transfer money from your current to your card if you want to use your card. Unlike on um, Privat, that once you have money in your account, you can easily access your card. But Agrico is not like that. And to transfer the money takes time. Like if you transfer the money, it won't reflect immediately. It, it can even take hours before you can reflect people that use that before you understand what i'm talking about so at that time in my card i had like just 180 dollars i think so just 180 dollars that was a, that was what i had in my card it was not even enough for the flight so let me check the flight was 300 or something dollars i think we we're looking at this we we're just looking at the flight like this the price just increased <laughs> it rose to like 430 something i think so I'm not sure of the exact figure, but I know it was like 430 something dollars. Like, I had like maybe 300 and something pounds with me cash when I was traveling. Because I mean, I, I'm going to my sister's house. I knew that when I get there, like everything will be sorted out. So I didn't need much cash to just transport myself. So we now went back again to the attendant because at that point there was no money in the card. We went back again. The attendant now told her, ah, the f it has risen for her as well. So her own then it was no longer the four hundred or something as of then it has now entered like five hundred or something. That means even my three hundred or something pounds was not even enough. So at that moment, God, that was when I was really struggling. I didn't know if I should start crying. I didn't know what to do. Like I was very frustrated that morning. So um, I was thinking, which of my friends can I call now? I tell the person, please, I need about $450, like, ASAP. <laughs> that will give you back, of course. And um, they'll tell me, yes, they have, and they give it to me immediately, that morning. And mind you, that was, like, past four. That was early. That was very early in the morning. And who would I call that would be awake at the same time? That was, it was a very tricky situation. So, I called the first person... Because another thing is for someone to pick. I called the first person. Oh, she said oh, okay that she didn't have um that money that morning. My friends said they can sleep. Jesus. I called the second person. No, the person didn't pay. I called the third person. The person didn't pay. Like my brothers didn't have money in their card as well because because of all the the agricultural situation I just explained to you guys. At that point, I was really thinking of. Counseling the trip. Um, the person I also traveled with is God because he has a sister in Ukraine. So he had to call, he called his sister. But more, <laughs> she was sleeping. So he had to call her flatmate, and luckily her flatmate picked up. And she had enough for the two of us. Like, oh my God. I was like, oh. you know that? Okay, it's getting somewhere. So we now booked the flight immediately there and then for the two of us and it worked. I traveled on a Monday morning and that was the first um that was the first day of my new cycle. I don't know about school surgery that morning. I couldn't even connect but I have good group mates. One of my group mates, he connected in my name, even did my MCQs for me and submitted. Because at that point, I was like, okay, on Tuesday, I'll tell the guy something, I traveled, and then I'll walk the class. But my group mate, he just connected for me, did my assignment, did the MCQ, submitted the MCQ for me. I was like, wow, like, I was shocked. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's true. I moved forward to GC, guys. The... For the Manchester own, I already booked my ticket from Manchester to Glasgow and the ticket was not refundable. <laughs> Train ticket, I mean. It was not refundable. So that one, the money disappeared. So that's why I didn't want to book another one. I was like, ah, let me get to Gatwick first before I can book my ticket. <laughs> so I, I now got to Gatwick and I saw um, a train ticket because it was that same day. The train ticket was expensive but i didn't have a choice and the journey was now long 
so guys i've finally gotten to my destination um scotland i stopped in gatwick so i had to take a train from gatwick to scotland which was about six hours 22 minutes like i'm so tired i left in the morning i left the train in the morning and this is at night already it's like eight o'clock p.m on um, london time so i'm so tired i can't wait to meet my sister she's somewhere outside waiting for me and i also need to rest eat sleep but i'm happy i'm here anyways when i finally got to Glasgow, my sister was there waiting for me <laughs> i finally got there i came out i saw my sister <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Jesus Christ. Do you know this this journey was stressful. Uh I know. Jesus, I'm six trying hours. to look pretty for this <laughs> thing. <now. laughs> six hours. That's clean. Hi Queen. Hi, Queen. Hi. Say hi to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. Oh, guys, finally, <laughs> after how many hours of everything, we're here. So, how are we heading home? And the last time I saw her was 2018 because that was the last time I went to Nigeria. So, since 2018, I've not been to Nigeria again. And that was the last time I saw her. So, it was, it felt good seeing another part of the family, you know. So when I saw her, I was like, oh my god. I was like she was really expecting me that she was so sure I was making a video. <laughs> because she was like, ah, this because I mean I'm a YouTuber. She was like, this girl, I'm sure this girl must make a video. I'm sure that was what she was telling me. So as, as I came up with my camera, I was like, ah, I said it. <laughs> and she came with her friend Queen. So um and her her house is not far from the the train station it was less than five minutes like five minutes walk actually so we walked and go home <sighs> you know that <sighs> finally that was it i was like finally like this finally worked out after the ups and downs and everything and on getting there, um, I finally texted the KLM, so they gave us the full refund and um, the COVID test was not, I, I thought it was even going to be a problem, it was not a problem because even on that second day, so I didn't even do my COVID test the, on the day two, it was on the day three. And for Glasgow, for Scotland, they call you to check up on you, so they called me. Of course, they called my number, my Ukrainian number. I wasn't going through, so they texted me that I should, that I should call them within twenty four hours. Like if I don't call them within twenty four hours, they will think that maybe something is wrong with me, and then they will come to my accommodation to check up on me. That's my sister's house. So I had to. I got a SIM card. I called them, and they were like, "Oh, okay." You know told them my name blah 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 they were like oh, okay then um it's cool that and i told them i didn't do my covid test on the day too if that was a problem they said oh no there's no problem that i can do it the next day i did it on the day eight as well and they were both negative so after my quarantine that was when i of course uk was on lockdown as of when i traveled so but i still had some fun and if you want to <laughs> so the next video i'm going to post is the places i went to in uk so anticipate for that next video and oh yeah there's more <laughs> i just remember there's more When it was now time to come back, another Wesley came <laughs> to come back. I was meant to come back on 20th of March. Around, was it? Maybe 15th of March. 
they cancelled our flight ticket again. <laughs> but unlike KLM, that we can't really provide us with options. The UIA consultant was the one I finally used. They provided us with options. And they sent us a message, an email that, oh, they found a flight for the same 20th, but then not that week anymore. We would have to go to Heathrow. And I was like, thank God I didn't book another train ticket. Because, because actually, that after the first incident that I didn't get my refund for the train, I was like, come on, I have to wait first because something might happen. And I was like, thank God I actually didn't book to get it because it would have also been a waste. But even this teacher, I was still not convinced. I was like, mm -mm, wait, the day before you travel, that's when you book your train. Three weeks later, it's 3.45 in the morning and I'm heading to the train station and my train is going to be like almost six hours to get to Heathrow Airport. I'm sad I'm leaving, but I mean, I don't have a choice. I feel like I didn't stay long and, you know, it was locked down here, so I didn't get to explore, but it's fine. UK, we're coming back for you again. <laughs> So after everything, I now finally got to the airport. We finally left, arrived Ukraine. We didn't have to do COVID tests. We didn't have to isolate again. I was like, hmm, chukuna. <laughs> you know the, like, so last, last, everything worked out. You know that kind of a feeling. I was like, oh my, thank God for Johnny messes. Thank God that the trip just didn't get cancelled and staying in uk was fun it was good so check out my next video to see the kind of things i did in the uk i was just happy that everything still worked out for my good i was just happy i hope this my g's did not bore you guys i hope you really watched till this part that i'm asking if you really watched <laughs> please um as usual subscribe to my channel if you've not yes we've reached 1k but that doesn't mean that we don't need more we need more we need more subscribers more views more likes you know so keep watching my channel thank you so much for staying up until this point <laughs> thank you for staying up until this point so see you in the next video where i'll be showing you around glasgow scotland Bye guys.